Hey, what's up, guys? Um, I took some advice from a viewer. Let me look up their name because I'm so bad with handles with numbers. It's Gorilla96822 who suggested to go to Leeward Drive-In for their fried chicken. Um, I had always tried to go here, but I've been there a long time ago and they only used to accept cash and I'm a debit card kind of person. So I never did get to actually eat there. I had to walk away. Um, going over their history um, on their website, it says they've been open since 1964, I believe, yeah, in the same location. So when you go there, it is super old school looking, um, the typical kind of old school vibe from a Hawaii drive-in. Um, they got a huge menu. That whole like wall is full of different items. I don't even know how they keep up with it. But it says in, on the website, in 2007, they were bought out by a new owner. So that's why you will see a little bit more of some Korean dishes, but they kept all the um, famous local dishes. Um, so I got, um, I didn't want to get too many things. So to me, the most appealing, he wanted me to fr try their fried noodles and the fried chicken was the school lunch. It's called a school lunch. They have different names for different bentos. And this one has a piece of fried chicken, some Portuguese sausage, their fried noodles, some rice with the futakake and a hot dog. So um, I also got a orange bang. That's super old school. Um, you don't really see that a lot. And if you're not familiar with it, it's kind of like a creamsicle kind of drink, orange drink, maybe like an orange Julius if you've never had an orange bang. So let's dig in and eat this. We'll start off with the fried chicken. Looks good. Super big piece. Wow, look at that. Looks like a thigh. Take this apart. Mm. Super good. Very crunchy. Lots of flavor. Actually reminds me of a Zippy's type of fried chicken. The local kind of fried chicken, not southern. But um, it's just very light on the batter. Fried um, mostly for the skin to get crispy. And the use of the thigh makes it really moist and juicy, not dry at all. We'll dig into the noodles. It's got a lot of uh, chopped kamaboku, which is fish cake and char siu looks like, and a lot of green onion. Mm. Really flavorful. Sometimes you get noodles and they're kind of kind of not so good on the taste. It's like not salted enough, but this actually tastes like um, they already put a lot of shoyu in it. So usually you put your own shoyu on it, but it's pretty good. It's seasoned really nice. Has that nice texture of Simon. So Simon noodles, which is our local noodle. And I like the green onion in there. Makes it really flavorful as well. But that looks like that's pretty much it. Just green onion, kamaboku, and char siu. But what's funny is it's so simple. There's no cabbage or all that other stuff in it. But it's really, really good. And really tasty. So I had this whole plan of going there and putting my GoPro on and walking there to get more footage. But as you know, it's been really bad weather here. It was sunny all day um, where I lived and all of a sudden it just became a downpour. So when I got out of the car, um, that plan totally failed because I had to run out of the rain. It was just drenched. Everybody was um, also drenched waiting for their food because the rain was going sideways. So um, it just sucked. <laughs> so I don't have really good footage of the outside. I tried my best. Um, so there goes that plan. But we'll go into the hot dog. Um, looks like a pretty simple fried hot dog or fried on the flat top perhaps. Uh, it doesn't look like it's soaked in any marinade or anything. Um, looks pretty simple. It doesn't look as red as a Redondo's hot dog and I don't know where they get these hot dogs. It's kind of an orange but it tastes exactly like Redondo's. Uh, really 
good tasting local hot dog but yep it's pretty much just a hot dog that's fried um, nothing fancy about it but still good to me so after taking this chicken off it looks like there's a, a lot of rice here looks like more than one scoop with futakake on it and one sad tiny piece of a Portuguese sausage so I guess for the Portuguese sausage side you only get one tiny sliver really tiny. Taste this out. Your standard Portuguese sausage. Rice is cooked well and the futakake gives it good flavor. I'm really digging this though. This is pretty much your typical local foods all in one in a small bento. Um, so definitely if you're not from here and you want to try all the local favorites, this is pretty much all in one little bento. So um, you can try all of it in one for one small price instead of getting different plate lunches. This would definitely be a good uh, lunch for somebody you know that just has to pick up lunch during work or to take with you to the beach. I can also see why they called it school lunch. It would be awesome if you were a kid and got this for a field trip or something. This has all the yummy tasty tidbits that you would want with the local flavor that everybody likes. So these noodles are really really good too. Okay we'll try the orange bang. Definitely like an old school classic drink, along with the Green River and the Lily Koi. I haven't had this since I was a kid. So good. Still very good. They make it really well. It's like drinking a orange creamsicle uh, thing. It's nice and creamy with that nice orangey taste. Definitely brings you back to the old school times for sure. All right, I pretty much mopped that plate. Um, of course, for me, I can't eat too much rice for health reasons, so I left most of the rice there, but you know, I did cheat and eat my noodles. That's a starch too, so that was really good. Um, that's a pretty full filling meal. Um, I can see, you know, if you do eat the rice, uh, it's very, very filling with lots of options in there, um, different tastes for your taste bud adventures, um, so school lunch yeah that's a good one and there's different bentos too um so definitely if you go there check out their menu or check it out on yelp and they also have a website which i'll put in the description box and you can see the different things they put in their different bentos but the school lunch one was the one that appealed to me so another thing that appealed to me that was different from other drive-ins is they make their own turnovers and they have different flavors and it came in this little old-fashioned bag they also have a special where if you buy 10 turno turnovers you get one free and uh, let me go over sorry I don't remember so it's on my phone all the flavors I really wanted apple but I went there too late it was sold out they have apple Okinawan sweet potato coconut peach pineapple and a combination turnover of coconut and pineapple so um, the only ones left was the sweet potato coconut and peach and the combination so I got the peach that appealed to me and we'll cut into this to see what it looks like in the middle it has a nice beautiful shiny brown crust so yeah that's what it looks like in the middle and we'll take a bite out of this Nice crust. You can definitely tell it's homemade. It's a little on the doughy side though, but it's pretty good. The peaches inside are, they look canned, obviously. It's hard to get peaches fresh right now, but it's got a nice sweetness to it, but the dough balances out the sweetness so it's not too sugary. And the peach syrup 
it soaks into the dough, so it makes it nice. I like it. It just tastes like something homemade, which it is, and not processed. So it has that homey feel. It's nothing fancy or anything, but it's good. All right, so we'll go over the pros and cons of Leeward Drive-In. Um, I like that they have so many items, and I mean, it's amazing how much is on their menu. I can't believe the cooks can remember all that stuff. But they got pretty much everything from any local plate lunch you can think of, from hamburger steak to chicken katsu. They also have very affordable minis. Um, they have different bentos, they have burgers, fries, all that stuff. Even different drinks from, like I said, the Orange Bang, the Green River, the Lily Koi, and different icy flavors too, besides the regular fountain drinks. So for a little place, they have a lot to offer. I also like, like I said, all the bentos. And for this particular one, I like everything that's included in it. You get a taste of every local main dish that you would get out of a bento in one. Um, yeah, the taste was fabulous. The noodles um, were surprisingly really good. It reminds me of uh, that other noodle place I went to in Waipahu, the old Sato's. Um, really delicious. It's not dry or anything like that. It's still got good texture to it, and I like all the fillings, the kamaboku and the char siu in there. Um, the price, I think, is pretty affordable. My bill got a little bit steep up there for one person, but that's because I'm, you know, trying out different things. But if you were just to get the bento and for all the things they offer in there and it's pretty filling, that's not a bad price. And then the minis are about a little over five dollars for all their minis. And it says all of them except for the Kalbi one. So that's a pretty good deal for a mini. Um, the orange bang was just a little bit more just because it's a specialty drink. But if you were to get like a regular soda or something, um, I think the meal is pretty affordable. Um, the service was really nice. The lady at the counter was very friendly, good service, and when you order your food, I didn't call ahead or anything, it was literally done in five minutes. Um, it's pretty much fast in and out. If you're in a rush for food for lunch, it's the place to go to. Um, parking was good. It's usually crowded in that center. It's the same center with Thelma's Filipino food, but they're on the opposite end, so where they're at, there's more, a lot more parking, and you'll always usually find a stall. Um, yeah, that's my positives. I have not really anything bad other than that Portuguese sausage was really, really tiny, um, but that's really minors. Um, yeah, I like the dessert. I like the drinks. Um, yeah, nothing bad at all. So we'll go over the price. Um, the school lunch bento is $8.35. The peach turnover is $2.99, and the medium orange bang was $2.28 for a total of $14.27 with tax. So, like I said, if you were just to get the bento, that's a pretty big bento for $8 and some odd cents. That's um, a pretty good deal, I think. And if you aren't that hungry and you don't want that many things, the mini for a little over 5 bucks, totally very affordable. So, yeah, thank you for the suggestion. Uh, and for me to try this for the first time, I was always interested in going but never really got to it. And for the other people that have suggested places, just give me some time. I'm getting to all of them and trying to get to them once a week with the other things on my other lists. And um, so yeah, just stay tuned for those. And I'll see you again next time for another food adventure. I'll see you again. If you like this video, like and subscribe. If you have a suggestion, you can let me know and we'll see if we can fit it in to the schedule. Um, but I'll see you again and take care. Peace out.